We've just installed Linux Mint and we are in VirtualBox in Mate here. Ctrl F is going to make it a full screen again. And let's continue with our work. So we've done up till now. We are now in a system that's been updated, but it's still your name minus A. It's still the kernel, the standard kernel 4.4. You can just continue using it, using this one, or you can uh, download the latest kernel and see if that works. So we are going to use the GitHub from Eric Dubois. And in this GitHub, there are several repositories. They keep growing. And we have here somewhere in the line XFCE. So there's a lot of possibilities. You can install them in Antergos, Arch, and Ultimate 18, and so on. This is the one that we need. We can download it, download zip, which is maybe the best thing we can do. Or you can git clone it if you know how to. So you have this file that's coming from the net. Everything is in here, what you need to know to install it. And let's close this one. And this is what we need. And let's make another opening here for the terminal. And what we're going to do is run a few of these scripts. Not all of them, but a few. So one, two, three, four. There it ends. But before we do, we should be sure that the kernel is working on this system. So we're going to install the kernel first. Update the latest kernel. When we speak 14 February, this is the latest kernel 4.9.9. 4.9.10 soon to arrive. So that's the first thing we should do and wait for that to install. In the meantime, the kernel is installed and the files have been deleted. What you should do now is sudo reboot. You can type it or just reboot your system. And then hope for the best and hope that this newer kernel kicks in and it recognizes every piece of hardware on your system. When you're doing it on a clean install, I suppose you'll have to be more successful than an upgrade, depending if you installed NVIDIA drivers or anything proprietary. But with a clean install, your success rate will be higher. That's my guess. Educated guess. Okay, um, let's go and have a look. Let's not go to full screen, just show you and end our tutorial here. So this is just about our kernel. As you can see, we're working on the 4.9.9 kernel, and that's what we wanted to achieve in this tutorial.